Hey guys, it's SF and Daigokuten is up and I haven't done a Daigokuten video for a long time probably because he was pretty pretty high when he first came when they first came back in JP for like now uh, one year ago it's been almost a year I think I think it's almost a year or over a year and I kind of wanted to use Loki in Daigokuten because he just does a lot of power and right now Daigokuten is probably really not really easy when you compare it to other impossibles, but a lot, lot easier when they came out first time one year ago. So, team is Babel, Loki, and Royce. And my friend is going to be another Loki. If I wanted to be a little bit safer, then I would pick another Royce, but let's use Loki. Because he is fresh off the transcension train, so see his limits see how good multiple Loki's is I kind of want to do like a four Loki team and see how that goes I think it will work okay as long as you clear off the Petras because the Petras have have a laser bear so his lasers is pretty useless but basically first clear off the Petras of course the what you call it the warps are the thing that kind of screws up, screws uh, Loki a lot. That's why it's not that great. That's why you want to have a Royce in there just for a little bit of safety. And I should have killed the Petra normally by just pinching. Because if you don't kill the Petras, then shoot a giant uh, volatile blast that will one hit kill you there's no ifs and or buts unless you do an immune strike shot but you have to get lucky to have the luck uh, luck bonus for that uh, second stage basically the same thing I kind of want to clear off the mask there because although the mask shoots you uh, shoots healing walls for you I kind of don't need it I kind of don't need it. I'll probably do this way. Just clear off one of the Petras and I want to clear off the mask because the warps are annoying for this team. Okay, not bad. And there's a warp right under Loki. Let's see if I... Well, actually the warps are random so I can't really get lucky. And I actually got lucky. Okay, probably the worst place ever for the next stage uh, because Daguten is right on the bottom right. And starting off with Babel, I'm gonna clear off the bottom left. Yeah. With uh, just bouncing off like that. And that's why it's really bad. And Loki's not great position, he's gonna get sucked into the warps. I got a little bit of damage. Though, no. oh, the wolf. That attack down. Okay, not the worst. That's why I think four Loki's is not the best because of the warps. Get lucky. Okay, I have one more shot. I should be able to beat it. Uh, should I go safe? I don't want to go safe though. <laughs> uh, because the wolf is really, really annoying. Okay, there we go. And after the Petras are gone, then you're free to destroy Daigokuten. Very, very easily. Very, very easily. Okay, next. Uh, Daigokuten, probably not the best uh, position again. Daigokuten's on the top right. And... There is Royce. I'm gonna go this way. Get to the Petra. Guess not. And the wolves are really, really badly placed. Again. Should I go all in for it? Let's try to go all in for it. I'm not sure if it will work. I think it might work. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to brute force this one, I'm going to strike shot, 
Okay. So I don't have to deal with the Petras. Okay. Not bad. Uh, next stage, I have to start healing up. So I gotta leave out the masks. I gotta leave out one mask at least. Leave out one mask. Okay, that's fine. The mask has a lot of HP, so I'm not that scared of killing them. And now it's just a matter of clearing the specters and healing up at the same time. Probably not the best, but I can go left and right, and then that should clear off the specters and heal up at the same time. Awesome. Uh, some people like ask me, or some people kind of uh, think about the what you call it, the healing walls. If you go like, for instance, Loki was heals up from the top, top, uh, top healing wall, but sometimes it doesn't for some, for some monsters that that works with uh, damage walls as well. Is the main reason is because it's partial healing walls for this stage, so each damage wall, like each healing wall, is kind of split off into three sections. But if it's like a full healing wall, then it will not do that. Uh, so you gotta be careful about that. If it's like a full healing wall, then... Then going side to side will not get that uh, bonus from the... Get the heal from that uh, healing wall, from that specific healing wall. So some people like... Kind of get confused why like... One dungeon, I get hit by the uh, damage wall or not heal by... A uh, healing uh, get hit by a damage wall or not get healed by a healing wall is because of the partial uh, partial damage walls and healing walls in there. And probably looks great. I just going to bump into Loki, and I'm not really scared of the step or the movement paralyzing thing because Loki's just gonna wreck face. Okay. Not bad, not bad. Next is Roy's perfect position for killing the Petra. And just gonna do that. Basically, stay away from the Vishnu for this stage and somehow get Loki to use his lock on on to Dagofden. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. And this should probably clear Dagofen. It's not. They have more HP than I expected. Which is alright. Oh my god, that sword. That sword. That lovely sword. I want it. I want it. Give me it. Give me it. And I got it. But not the HP. Okay. Last stage. Starting off with Roy's and perfect Petra pinching for Roy's. I kind of want to strike shot to clear off the wolf because I'm going to get attacked down next uh, next turn. Let's try to do it this way. Let's see if it will kill the Petra. Mm. <laughs> Not the best. It's okay, but not the best. Okay, let's go with Loki. Okay. Ouch, that hurt. That actually hurt. Um, let's see. Uh, let's go this way. Let's go the safe route. Okay. And then Loki's next. And then Loki, then Roy's. I should be okay. I'll do RNG the warps there. And I RNG pretty well, actually. Although the Petra didn't die. Okay. Okay, clear the Petras. And then basically, I'm free to. Finish off Daigo Kuten. I kind of want to play it safe because the paralyzed step is next. So I want to heal up. And not do that. That's not great actually. I need to heal up or else 
It's gonna end pretty badly for me. Okay, hope I survive this. If I survive this, then I'll probably win. And I did. But Loki got paralyzed. Oh, that HP. Uh, no attacks, so I'm okay for now. And Loki has the sword. Okay, or Royce gets the sword and that should be okay. Okay. Last but not least is Loki. And I can just strike shot, doesn't matter. Whew. Oh, that was... <laughs> that was actually kind of rough. That was actually kind of rough. Um, two Lokis is okay, but really bad at clearing the Petras. So that's why I don't think four Lokis is the best. Or even three Lokis. Two Lokis is kind of if you get three drops, that's actually good. But uh, you can try it out. I don't recommend multiple Lokis unless you have uh, something really, really strong. And of course, two Lokis and two Roys will be pretty safe. But if you want a max luck monster in there, then you want either like a Babel or for people that haven't finished Tower or beat the Tower, then Novita or Emerald Dragon or uh, Martial Titanium or Rock, Rockbird. Two Lokis, not the best, not the safest, but it's workable. <laughs> workable. That's my verdict. Workable. But that's pretty much it for me. I hope you guys like and subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.